On our hand this week, we open one heart, and when partner goes three hearts, we go four hearts. West leads a spade, one by east, and east fires back a club. Now you take stock. You've got two spade winners now. You've got four diamonds is six, and eventually you get all the hearts going, at least three or four, and you've got ten tricks. However, on the loser's count, you've now got two potential club losers. Now they've switched to clubs. You've got the ace of spades, which you've already lost, and the ace of hearts. So that's one off. So what do you do about losers? Well, you've got to dump your losers. And on this occasion, you've got to dump them before touching trumps. Because at the moment, the opponents have the initiative because they've switched to clubs. So without much ado, we're going to unblock the Queen of Diamonds. Come back to our hand with a spade. And make our club problem go away. Having made the club problem go away, we can now embark on the drops. We're going to finesse West for the missing Queen of Hearts. And East plays the Ace. East comes back a club, which we can trump. We now need to get back to our hand by roughing a spade. Why have we come back to our hand? To finesse the hearts again. And we run the nine. And when we finesse the queen, and we eventually make 11 tricks. We eventually made two spades. Four hearts after doing a successful heart finesse is six. Three diamonds is nine. A queen of diamonds, ten. And the ace of clubs, eleven. But if you had been of the school that says always draw trumps, the opponents would have got in with, and they might have taken two clubs and two aces. 